Welcome. Today, we're going to speak the truth and nothing but the whole truth. Why relationships with Scorpios suck. It's going to be painful. It's going to be tumultuous. It's going to hurt. <sighs> Welcome back to the Scorpio Scriptures Podcast. I'm your host, Master J. This is where we talk about astrology. All things Scorpio related. And the expansion of consciousness. So today, we're going to expand on the consciousness of why relationships with Scorpio suck. Well, let's just get into it. Especially if it's with a Scorpio man. All right, ladies. Or fellas. Uh, you know, uh, whatever way you're swinging out there. I don't have a problem with guys swinging the other way. Less competition. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You do you. You do you. However, I'm going to tell you why relationships with Scorpio suck here. Here's the thing. You are going to experience some very high highs and some very low lows. And when I say low lows, I also mean everything in between. Relationships with Scorpios suck because Scorpios thrive in chaos. And they are very difficult and tough to communicate with. Uh, it takes a certain person. A Scorpio is like an acquired taste. Do you guys like sushi? Anybody here like sushi? Comment below. If, if, if anybody likes sushi, they know what wasabi is. Actually, what is wasabi? It's like this green paste plant thing. I think it's a plant. Correct me if I'm wrong. Wasabi. I think wasabi is disgusting. It's like spicy and like sour and like burning. and It ruins the flavor of everything. But I do like ginger with sushi. My brother... I think my brother likes wasabi. Weirdo. But... Sushi is one of those things where it's like you like wasabi or you don't. It's like there are people that eat wasabi and there are people that don't. Just like there are normal people and there are crazy people. Kind of the same thing. So a Scorpio is an acquired taste. Kind of like wasabi. You either hate it or you love it. Because it's like, ooh, it's spicy and it stings and it's strong and I like the kick. And other people are just like, nah, pass, bruh. I don't like it. I don't want it. Meh. <laughs> so, the wasabi people of the astrology sign, aka Mr. and Mrs. Scorpios, these people thrive. They really do thrive in, like, turmoil. Like, I don't want to say adrenaline. I just want to say... Scorpio people, I don't even want to say sadistic. Because that's, that's not the right way. There are things that Scorpios just like that other people just don't like and just find weird. Like, I think it's funny to make fun of people and have dark humor. Not everybody has dark humor. When I see my nephew cry because I spank him in the butt and I take his toys, it's funny to me. But to other people, I'm so cruel. That's not cruel, it's funny. He's a baby. Hashtag not causing child trauma. I love him. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm. uh, what's the word? I digress. I digress. There we go. I digress. It's going to suck. Because Scorpios just ha don't function in the normal world. We really don't. We just kind of sit back. And we find, like, dark things funny and entertaining. You know, things like skulls are, like... I'll be honest. I think I've told the story once, and I'm only going to tell the story another time. Maybe. When I was in high school... <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. This, this girl I was dating was, like... She was, like, so shy and, like, nervous. She's like... Can I tell you a secret? Like, sure. She was like, it was, you, you know, we were talking at night. She's like, I, I like to watch like these naughty videos. And I was like, oh, okay. And at the time I used to watch naughty videos, if you know what I mean. I don't do that anymore. It's bad for your brain, kids. Don't watch it. Especially if you're under 18. She's like, can I send you it? 
I was like, sure. And I just looked at it. She's like, so what'd you think? It's like, whatever, bro. It's nothing. <laughs> it's like the dark, taboo, underground things you can tell to a Scorpio. And, uh, you know, there's really nothing that can make us go like, oh, my God. Whoa, man. Like, what? Oh, whoa. That's shocking. Oh. So we do we, we 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 do just you know nothing really can surprise the scorpio i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of doctors and surgeons people that walked in hosp worked in hospitals are scorpios i used to work in a hospital you know it's just it's like that's our comfort zone being around death life and death it's like our comfort zone and when you are someone that is wired this way it is kind of intense and you are an enigma to many people, right? Because people are like, what's up with this guy? You know, especially if your boyfriend or girlfriend is like totally not like you. Like, what's up with this guy? He is just so strange and he's just so weird. And then they are walking paradoxes. There are these strange people that are seemingly so dark and like not soulless or lifeless just so comfortable with the darkness and just chilling there and then there's a flip and another dynamic where you see oh my god this these people they love you right scorpios we love so hard we love you in such a way that it makes you feel like whoa wow this person loves me they actually love me not only that it's such an interesting type of love it's like a blanket of love mm. <laughs> There's a feeling that some people may get from uh, spiritual belief, spiritual protection, right? Like, I know people that meditate. My old mentor, Mark Halton, he told me to uh, meditate. And when you go outside and you're, you're like an empath or a light worker or a chosen one, he's like, you're going to be very sensitive to people's energies, especially on the path of your spiritual awakening. So what you want to do is... You want to imagine a golden vortex bubble around you to prevent people's energy from attaching to you and like psychic attacks and whatnot. And if you've ever had a Scorpio love you, mm, their love is kind of like a, a, a form of that bubble. It's not so upfront, right? It, but it's always like in the back of your head. It's always like in the back, like you feel it. You can really feel when a Scorpio loves you. And you're like, oh, ooh. It's like this protective thing. It's like Batman. Batman love. Yeah. When, <laughs> when you're in trouble, when Gotham needs saving, good old Batman's gonna come out. He's gonna beat up all the bad guys. He's like, thank you, Batman. He's like, hmm. He goes back to the Batcave. <laughs> kind of like what a Scorpio's like when they love you. So relationships with Scorpios kind of suck because we don't love like normal people. We love you like different people. Uh, we twist your hair. We twist your last nerve. And we laugh at it. We laugh at it. When we see, you see people suffer, it kind of uh, intrigues us in such a way. And go, oh, oh, that bothers you? Well, sorry. We actually mean it. I mean it. We all mean it. We just don't understand. We're just a little tough to get along with. We're an acquired taste. Wasabi. Not everybody likes wasabi. And guess what? Wasabi doesn't like everybody. <laughs> But so it is a learning experience uh, dating these people and getting to know these people and just being around them, right? If you're constantly around a Scorpio, you're constantly diving deep into this maze of a person, and right when you think you have them figured out, it kind of they kind of twist, they, they kind of show you another side to them in this other chamber of personality that they have locked up, and you're like, whoa! So you like that too? But when you really, really get to know a Scorpio could take a couple years when you really get to know these people you can see the way they function and see the way they move <laughs> and then you'll actually be able to determine if this is a toxic person or not <laughs> so it might just take you a few years just to get to know if this is the evolved scorpio it's an unevolved scorpio is this person even like are they even mentally stable and capable of having a good relationship and building a family or building with or are they just like i've been trying to figure out this lunatic this whole time was he actually a lunatic or 
you know just a good person that's hard to get to know so overall relationship with scorpios really do suck because even when you put in this amount of effort i'm not even gonna lie i understand myself i understand my scorpio tribe I understand how we move i'm not gonna lie uh, you might be going through a maze and when you get to the prize you might just find like was this even worth it right like the rat found the cheese is sipping his way through the cheese <laughs> and he finds the cheese like this is a piece of cheddar i wanted parmesan <laughs> <laughs> so you know why relationship with scorpio suck it's just it, it's just and then you top it off right uh most scorpios are extremely magnetic extremely sexy <clears throat> right and you're like man what is this why can't this person just be normal but it's a sign of extremes so they may be extremely attractive extremely sexual extremely confusing extremely deep extremely mysterious extremely aloof to the realities of the world because they live in their own i hide in the shadows i am the scorpio uh feel my pain so it's just it's, it's just a bunch of things that uh, all tie in to this like uh I I enigma and of the most interesting people it's like death metal does anyone here like death metal i don't like death metal like screamo rock but one of my friends does and i think the appeal to screamo rock and like death metal is like some people love it and other people are turned off by it and i think that's the appeal of some scorpio people it's like people are like oh i hate that guy he's a scorpio he gave me a headache he's toxic and he don't like me and he played too much games and blah 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 and then there's other people they're like oh my god but you know like oh it's the deepest it's the best love i ever felt i love transforming i love going through the pain i love the wisdom i love everything and that really is uh why the relationship suck even if you love us even if we love you baby let me tell you something there's always another level to reach <laughs> life is about ascension life is about purifying one's mind deeper and deeper and deeper how pure can our love be how deep can our love be how far can we go there's always another level but the thing is once some people get to a certain level they start to feel intimidated you know there's a certain level of success there's a certain level of progression where everybody wants it but certain people get to a certain level and they become intimidated by it scorpio goes no another one more 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 it's deeper 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 until you're so caught up uh oh scorpioitis in full effect 10 years down the line you've gone into the abyss ah just like persephone you go well you know i'm just gonna stay here the normal world the mortal world it's so boring now me and scorpio we're going on an adventure adventure time <laughs> it's gonna be a wild one it's gonna be wild buckle up buttercup this relationship's gonna suck but it's gonna be awesome at the same time in old scorpio fashion <laughs>